Obediently, I filled this piece with one single rose, humbly offered to President Barack Obama, a man whose historical presidency forever changed the world as we now know it. Major news outlets take jabs at his character, reporting he didn't do any good for the United States in the past eight years, but I beg to differ. In my eyes, he's been the best daddy to lead this country since I've been old enough to vote. Elephants in the room ought to tuck their tails, then run away. They're too big to hide behind mountains of Shinola inherited from past presidents that dissipated under Obama's watch. He surrendered his time to demonstrate that a father can care for his three children, then take on over 300 million more, making sure they have access to health care, silently smoking out boogeymen that terrorize their dreams, bailing out three of the main manufacturers that put food on the table while giving moms and pops the borrowing power they'll need to keep their small businesses afloat. Our modern day Robin Hood froze White House salaries until they thawed, spilling over to raise the minimum wage. Our homes are now somewhat affordable. Reduced deficits, elevated consumer confidence, giving the commander in chief two thumbs up. So what exactly is the news reporting at us? One gallon of gas almost cost, cost what it did when I started driving many moons ago. I won't count each moon. But when I'm done with this piece for my president, the next will serve as an eviction notice to the harbinger of private summers that occupies my body year round. Embers burn red hot inside those who understand that the time to do something about anything is right now. I'm grateful that Obama felt the heat then sprang into action, actually doing what so many before him simply flapped their jaws at. He cares about the welfare of his children, looking beyond America's faults, seeing our needs. I felt his pain when he cried real tears in public. Gun violence hurt his heart too. I pray his tears weren't shed in vain. Mine, however, have welled since the beginning of this piece, but I'm holding back waterworks until the H2O in Flint, Michigan is lead free. I'll shout when my brothers and sisters survive traffic stops. I'll scream when black lives matter. Maybe one day we'll even have justice with peace. The only criticism I give as to President Barack Obama's tenure in office is that I wish he had more time. But perhaps his successor will take good care of us too. But can't nobody get us together like a real dad. Or maybe next time this country will make history again with a mom. Now wouldn't that be something? One single rose. What's right in times of joy and strife No matter the day or the time Embrace what broadens the mind Live this thing called life With goals always in sight Trust in the flow to ride blind Stay the course, walk the line Live.